It's Friday. Tea's hot. It's Friday. We're live. Woohoo! Welcome, welcome to Friday night. Welcome to Holly's party, everybody. Let's. I'm getting all connected, making sure we're on the right page, making sure everybody can find us. So, hope everybody had a good week this week. We are excited about our night tonight. Holly is our hostess and we have quite a lineup and it's growing as I was like finalizing everybody's boxes and getting everything in order. I got orders coming in, so that's all right. We'll keep up with y'all. So, hey Holly, there's our hostess. Welcome, welcome everybody. So we are excited about our lineup tonight. It is Holly's party, as I mentioned, so we're super excited. And, uh, oh, I'm actually not drinking coffee tonight. I'm drinking tea. Ah! Every once in a while I do tea. English tea time is one of my favorites. So, when I'm not feeling super fancy. If I'm feeling super fancy, then I like to go for the tea forte. But you have to feel fancy to drink that, I think. <laughs> it's expensive tea. <laughs> I feel fancy when I drink it just because I'm like, ooh, this is expensive. So... Yay, hey everybody, hey Lori, hey Karen. I'm seeing all kinds of, hey Megan. So we have a fun lineup tonight, I can't wait to get started, but listen, here's the deal. There's a secret message tonight for somebody, which means I can't do my drawing to start with or else I might give away the secret message. So it, Holly, if you don't mind, what I'm going to do is we will actually do at least part of your lineup so that I can deliver the secret message. And then we will do our drawing because we had six orders in before the start of our party. So all six of those names are in our drawing. Um, but like I said, I don't want to give away the secret message. So we'll do our drawing partway through when I feel like I can do it without giving anything away. <laughs> so, okay, good. She says, that's fine. Phew. I hadn't really thought about it before. And I'm like, I don't know if we've had that situation before where doing the drawing would give anything away, but tonight I was like, ooh, I can't really do that. So, all right, so if you guys are here as part of, specifically part of Holly's party, if you're a friend of Holly's, say, here, here, or it's me, or something, or shoot us a smiley face. <laughs> hey, Edna. All right, I see a smiley face from Andrea, and I recognize her name. So, Holly, I just wanna make sure that your party is all here before we get started, okay? And we are still taking orders for tonight, and you do not need to know Holly personally to make an order. Um, orders are being shipped directly to the customer. They're not all being like bulk shipped to Holly because she's the hostess or anything. So feel free to shop at mountainmamapearls.com and choose oysters for tonight. Um, your cost doesn't change, but Holly's our hostess, so she will benefit from your orders. So, all right, I see Andrea and I see Holly. Who else should I see? Scotty, are you here? And I saw Megan. And Jody, are you here? Okay, so here's my other question. And then we're going to get started. We are, I promise, going to open oysters. We have a bowl full. And as always, we're going to do our giveaway. So if you choose to share our video publicly, you will make yourself eligible for our uh, drawing for the last oyster in the bowl, okay? Um, so this was my other question. If you had to choose, which one would you choose? I needed sugar tonight, and I knew that what was in the cabinet wasn't going to satisfy, and then tech support said, no, honey, open the cabinet again, and he had those waiting for me. Isn't that sweet? I tend to go through, like, phases with my candy, and certain times I like certain things, and then all of a sudden I'm like, ugh, it's the last thing on my mind. So, was that why you got those two? Because you weren't quite sure which way to go? Yeah, I kind of know which way. Yeah, so tech support's like, yeah, I didn't know which way to go, so he got both of them. <clears throat> yeah, see, Debbie, I'm like you. I went for the milk duds tonight. I like both of them, but milk duds caught my eye this evening. So, oh yeah, lots of comments. <laughs> All right, so we're going to start our uh, party. It's Holly's party tonight. We have some orders in as part of her lineup, and you are welcome to shop with us still for tonight's party. You can shop at mountainmamapearls.com and choose Facebook Live Oysters with tonight's date on them, and they will benefit um, Holly's hostesses, hostess benefits. We will be doing a drawing. We had six orders in before the start of the party, so those individuals are in this class, um, and we will be drawing for an additional free oyster. 
but because there's a secret message in the box, um, we're not going to do the drawing just yet. Okay, so Holly's making an interesting comment. She says that she can't see anyone's comments but her own. And I'm also looking at our numbers and realizing they're a little bit on the shyer side of normal. Yeah, yeah. So I'm wondering if we don't have a glitch of some sort. I don't know. Can anyone else see Holly's comments? I can see your comments, I Holly. See lots of comments. But that stinks if she can't see anybody else's. She's our hostess. She needs to see what's going on. Maybe she disconnects and reconnects. Maybe. Holly, tech support was suggesting maybe you disconnect and then come back on and see if that helps. Jody says that her comments aren't updating. Andrea can see the comments. Crystal says me either. Huh. So it seems like some people are not having a problem at all. This is Holly's and Irving. So it seems like a few people are having issues and a few aren't. Everything was really smooth here, so. Okay. So those of you with problems, I'm going to give you like two minutes. Those of you with problems. Those of you with technical <laughs> issues, I'm going to give you two minutes to jump off and jump back on. We're going to lull this party for just a second because I want to make sure at least our hostess can see everything going on. So Andrea had to refresh. So that's our, that's been, um, we have found that to be our biggest solution so far is if you're having problems, just get out of the app and get back in or even do a hard reboot on the device that you're using. So. Oh, okay. So Holly can see comments now. She says, hopefully it'll stay that way. Okay, so I am wondering, let's see, I saw Megan, hey Megan, Megan Atkins, are you still here? I saw you comment a minute ago. So we're going to get this party started, and then we will at some point, after I have delivered my secret message, we'll do our drawing for the extra free oyster for those of you that had orders in before our party started. And we are still taking orders for tonight, so you can shop at mountainmamapearls.com and choose Facebook oysters with tonight's date on them. Uh, you do not need to know Holly personally. We will not be mailing your order to Holly. We will be mailing your order directly to you. So, oh, Darla, I saw your email. I was so happy. I'm so excited. Did Molly like them? So we were trying to get um, Darla and Molly's pearls off to them, and our system had an issue with exactly how I was putting in the address. So I made fixes on my own, but then questioned if they were correct. So I was thrilled when I found out today that they got to them mm -hmm. in time too. So, okay, so here we go, Megan. I saw you comment. Yes, I did. <laughs> Sorry. I saw you comment. I just went jabbering away on something else. Okay, so here we go. You know the routine. I'm gonna show you all five and then you're gonna tell me which one is yours. All right, so this is the first one. It's got some of that outer shell scuffed off. You can see some of that mother of pearl. All right, number two. Ooh, okay, so number two is lots of interesting stuff going on on the back. Number three is a bit larger than the others. It's got some seaweed and kind of some little remnant pieces going on there. All right, number four is quite a bit darker. The shell, of course. Can't really speak to what's going on inside yet. And then the fifth one is our half pint of this run. <laughs> hey, Mandy. Hey, Mandy's having a party on Monday, everybody. <laughs> All right, so Megan, which one is yours? Number one, two, three, four, or five? So you let us know. Oh, Holly, she's still having problems seeing comments. Mm. All right, Megan says number two. Number two, number two. So I don't know. Holly, are you jumping back off and coming back on? Yeah, she says she's going to close down. She's going to close off. down? Okay, yeah. she's going to end up missing this one, but <clears> we will. <throat> we'll try to lull. So. All right, I see tech support making notes over there, so. Ooh, Megan, it's a pretty light one. I should have asked you what color you were hoping for. I don't feel a twin in there at all. Oh, Kyrie, it's okay. You're not that late. We're actually just opening our very first pearl. So, all right. And Holly is back, hopefully. <laughs> Someone say something, Holly says. She's not sure she's seen comments. <laughs> oh, nice job, Megan. She says anything. 
All right. Oh, you were probably commenting to me about the color. I thought you were being funny about Holly saying somebody say something. So you said anything. All right, a 7.00. So it's a beautiful light colored one. And it is extremely close to being a pure white. The gorgeous, gorgeous luster on it. Mm. Oh no, she's poor Holly is still isn't seeing comments. Would there be some type of a privacy setting that would be getting in her way? No idea. Huh. Holly, I don't know. Should we have a device? Do you have another device she could try it on? She's gonna go try her computer. Good call. I'm like, how sad to be the hostess of the party and everybody else gets to party and talk and you're in the corner like, la, 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 I can't hear anybody. <laughs> oh, man. Ooh. Hey, Mom. All right, so who else am I looking for? I'm kind of curious. I, I didn't notice everybody's comments when they said that they were here for the party. I'm sure they're commenting anyway. There's probably new ones on. Do you think that this individual is here yet? All right, tech support's looking into something for me. <laughs> I'm excited. Ah, okay, I'm looking for Scotty. Scotty, are you on yet? I haven't noticed your name either. Hi. Hey, Rebecca. I have some comments here. <laughs> Brandy's having pearl withdrawals. <laughs> oh, no. <sighs> oh, Kyrie, that's a really good point. I wonder if that's what she's having an issue with. Um, so Kyrie was talking about like when you swipe to the side, you make all the comments go away. And when you swipe oh, back, the comments come back. That's true, yeah. So that could be what she's experiencing. But if she's seeing just her comments and no one else's, then yeah. that would say to me that it's actually on. Yeah, she sees it when she types so, it. So, so Holly. Working, uh, she says it's working now, so. No, she says, is it working now with a question oh, mark? Uh, <laughs> that's a very important part of that sentence. Yeah, oh, yeah. So you can, so you can still see yours. Oh, good, Tracy. I'm glad your package came. Oh, man. So Crystal's having issues with that, too. She's tried different devices. Huh. Yeah, what's privacy setting? Okay, so it? it's pronounced like... Eerie? Eerie. So, Kiri. Kiri. Yes? yes Thank you for correcting me. I would much rather be corrected so that you don't sit there cringing every time I say your name wrong. Please let me know. <laughs> like cheery, so Kiri. Very pretty. Okay, Holly's on her computer now. Are you seeing comments now, Holly? I'm asking, and then there's a lull, so I'm waiting. <laughs> oh no, she says her computer is slow. <laughs> All right, here we go. Andrea, see, I need these pronunciation keys. That's the new field we need to add to the website. We don't need to ask what's your Facebook name. We need to say, write out how it is like phonetically like mm -hmm. sounds. <laughs> so, all right, she says it's all good to keep going. Okay, so Andrea and Kiri, yes? I'm so bad with some pronunciation, so please, please don't ever hesitate to correct me. I would much rather you be able to sit and peacefully watch and not cringe every time I mispronounce your name. Okay, so Scotty, are you here? I am looking for Scotty, and I'm trying to pronounce her last name. Sipolt. Have we seen her here? I don't know. Okay, so then the other person I'm looking for, do you think they're on? I don't know. I don't want to blow this. If they're not, I won't blow it. Sorry. Oh, that's true. Okay. Um, Michael Ward. Are you on watching with Sam? Is it go time? Okay, so this is my special message. I have a message. Happy Valentine's Day, Sam. Love, Michael. So you have to comment and let me know if you're on or if we get to do this another time. 
<laughs> I'm not seeing any comments. Sam? No, what was her name? Her name is Sam. All right, so Holly, I don't know. Do you know this individual? Are they someone you know or not? So I have a special message from Michael Ward to Sam. Happy Valentine's Day. But I'm wondering if they're here. Holly doesn't know them. So if they're not on, I'm going to wait. Sam. <gasps> You're Sam. Yay. Sam. Happy Valentine's Day. Love, Michael. Were you expecting this? Did you know to be on and watch? I'm so curious how that works. Like if they do a secret message and then they're like, no, you have to stop everything and watch this. Like, don't do anything else. You have to watch this screen. <laughs> Yay, Sam. So you have to let us know. How did he tell you to watch? Or have you been a fan? And we just haven't met you yet. <laughs> All right, so he has purchased five oysters for you, Sam. So here's your lineup. Now, this is interesting, because he did not give me a last name. So I am trusting that Sam is Sam. Yeah. <laughs> she said I'm Sam. She I'm says she's Sam. Smith is Smith. So. And Smith is a Smith. <laughs> Sam, you are the Sam, right? The Sam? She hasn't responded again. Yeah, she probably will. Where are you, Sam? Where did you go? <laughs> All right, I want to start opening, but I need to know that she's here. We need to validate that she's the Sam. She said she was Sam. She said she was. She had lots of <gasps> Maybe she's like going to kiss him. <laughs> Maybe that's why she's not on. <clears throat> okay, I really want to start opening, but she's not here. <gasps> okay, she says, I am the Sam. Okay, yay. All right, here we go. We're opening. <laughs> Sorry, Sam, I'm teasing. I'm like, she disappeared. Where did she go? What could she possibly be doing? All right. So are there any particular colors you're hoping for, Sam? Any particular colors? This first one is beautiful pink. Or at least it looks pink so far. Sometimes they darken up and surprise me. I don't feel a twin in there. <laughs> she says, Sam, I am. I am Sam. Sam, I am. Oh. So how was everybody's week? Are you excited it's Friday? Tech support and I are quite happy that it's Friday. Mm -hmm. It's been a very full week here. All right, the first one measures in at a 7.38, Sam. And she says she likes dark colors. So this first one is actually quite dark. It was looking extremely pink against the towel, but it really pronounces out more of a purple on the white salt. So I will let tech support get up there and get a closer look. Isn't that pretty dark? Yeah. It was actually looking really like rose gold on the towel. But mm. Andrea says, yay for Friday. And it's a double yay because we're live on Friday. Yay. <laughs> so we will have a little bit of switch up in our schedule coming up over the next couple weeks. So make sure to watch um, our events page and whatnot to know when we're going to be on. We are live again on Monday night with Mandy's party. And then we're actually going to be off for a little bit because I have some traveling plans. Um, so keep in mind to watch the uh, schedule. So Rhonda from Pittsburgh. Hey, hey, Brianna. I hear a little kiddo up. Mm -hmm. Is it a little missus or a little mister? Mm. Hmm. Somebody's up. Our older kids have admitted to staying up in their beds and listening to the show. All right, this one measures in at a 7.00, a beautiful light colored one. And it's definitely got a touch of um, like a light gold or ivory tone to it. I'll hold it up as best I can so you can see. Tech support went to go check on who the little one is. <laughs> oh, good, Holly, I'm glad. I'm glad she hasn't missed much. All right, the third one in the lineup for Sam, who was surprised tonight by Michael with a very sweet Valentine's Day gift. How thoughtful. So thoughtful. 
She says she likes dark colors, so we're hoping we're gonna get some really dark ones. So far we've been a bit on the lighter side. Got a beautiful dark purple to start with. And then a beautiful ivory, like light gold. I think this one is also gonna kind of be in that like gold champagne kind of color. We will get it dried off and measured. Ooh, actually it's got a bit of pink to it. Has a little dimple in it. It's a 7.33. All right. Yes, I can't wait to see this color. Hold on, it's got some little, got some little oyster stuff stuck on it still. There we go. Little Miss is in her bedroom trying to have a tea party. Fantastic. I knew that I had kind of blown it today. So we had had this wonderful morning and then the kids really wanted to play outside in the snow. So we bumped lunch back and we played in the snow. So then lunch was late and then nap time was late and we're starting to outgrow nap time, my youngest one. So I knew I was probably potentially gonna blow bedtime and I think I might have because she's in there trying to have a tea party. Fantastic. All right, so this is a beautiful pink. Gorgeous, gorgeous. I would almost call it like a light rose gold. Like it's it's a lighter pink, but it still mm -hmm. has that goldness to it. So. <laughs> Brandy, thanks for joining the party. You don't have to know Holly. Fear not. We will not send your order to her. It will come directly to you. <laughs> She's the hostess, but. I like that we can mail directly. When you do an organized, um, a customized party in a box though, that's how it works. You put your orders in and we box it all up and send it to the hostess, because then you all get together live at one another's home and have a party without us, which is actually still a lot of fun. It's just that we're not there. So it's kind of sad for us. All right, here we go, number four. All right, Sam, here we go. I feel like we're opening slow tonight. Are we opening too slow? You guys want to see more pearls quicker? Momentum is building. All right, momentum is building. Yes, we're getting there. <laughs> getting everybody squared away, making sure everybody can see our comments, getting the kids to bed. <laughs> All right, is another light colored one? Man, she said she liked dark colors. I want to get a dark one for her, like a really, really dark one. Yeah. <laughs> Holly's like, wait, you can send me the orders. It's fine. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Oh, Andrea's having problems on her device, so she had to pull it out of another one. Oh, it's a 6.80. So it's a bit on the smaller side, but beautiful luster on this one, too. Both of those lighter ones, super shiny. This one's a bit creamier, maybe a little bit more on the gold undertone to it. <laughs> Chrissy, Holly is obsessed. It is quite fun, this whole pearl thing. Super fun. I love those are all so shiny. They are. Tech yeah. support is like, I feel like those are all so shiny. Yeah, they really are. And they really are. The luster on them is just gorgeous. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, Holly's freezing again. Poor hostess, missing out on part of the party. Ooh, we did not get a dark, dark one like Sam wanted. We got some beautiful colors for you though, Sam. Mm -hmm. This one is looking quite pink so far. We'll see it against the salt though. That first one totally threw me for a loop. I thought for sure it was gonna be a rose gold and it ended up being quite purple. Um, Kiri, they're not necessarily more rare. Um, I think we just have a lot of lighter colors so it doesn't feel like we get the black ones as often. So the black ones are not naturally occurring in a Koya. The black ones have actually been dyed. Um, so I'm sure that they probably are produced to a less frequency, if that makes sense. This one measures in at a 7.12. Oh, Brianna, you had an issue with the comments too. We've had a couple other people have that problem as well tonight. Whoop. Hold on, I'm still seeing some oyster stuff in the top. And this one has a cute little belly button. Maybe I'll, oops, maybe I'll stick it belly button up so you can see it. So in natural pearls, there are um, tendencies to have those little character marks, those little belly buttons and such. 
It's a beautiful light run. This last one is a gorgeous rose gold again. So pretty. Well, happy Valentine's Day, Sam from Michael. That was so fun. I didn't want to give the surprise away. I was all nervous when we got on that I was going to give it away before we actually got to open them. So, so now that we've done our secret message, whew, I can do our giveaway. So we had six orders in before the start of the party. And as promised, there's a giveaway for a free oyster to someone who had an order in before the party started. So we will do that drawing right now and open that person's pearl, extra oyster. All right, so I shall list the orders that were in before the party started were Scotty, Andrea, Jody, Kim, Megan, and Michael's order for Sam. All right, so you all are in the drawing because your order was in before our party started, but we are still taking orders tonight. So if you're interested, uh, you can shop at mountainmamapearls.com and choose uh, the Facebook Live Oysters with tonight's date uh, for Holly's party. You don't have to know Holly, your order will be directly shipped to you, so you just benefit her hostess rewards. All right, and the extra oyster goes to Andrea. Are you still here? <laughs> Did you just squeal? Congratulations. Thanks for putting an order in on Holly's party before the party started. Andrea? It's Andrea. Andrea Martin. Oh, you know, and you pinned that little comment, so now wow. I'm not seeing anything but that. Hold on. There we go. Yay, there she is. Yes. <laughs> Woohoo! All right, here we go. So here's your five. Now, do you want to choose one from here or do you want me to just choose an extra one from the bowl? You know what I mean? Like you can choose your free one from here and then I'll just fill it back up again for your five. <laughs> yes, I heard you squeal all the way from, wait, where are you? <laughs> You're actually semi-local though, right? All right, so Andrea, let me know if you want to choose. All right, so just choose one from the bowl. Okay, I'm going to think purple, pink, and dark thoughts while I choose one from the bowl. All right, this one. Does that look like a good one? All right, so you had purchased five for part of the party, and then you have a free one. All right. She's in California. She's in California. Okay. So you're not local. Purple, pink, and dark. Purple, pink, and dark is what she's hoping for. Yay! Oh no! Oh, Scotty, we can do you next. She wants a dark oyster. Okay, good to know. Well, I hope you can get charged up before, before we're to you, or it will last long enough. Hmm. All right, your first one is, looks so far like a beautiful peachy color, Andrea. Now she was wanting purples, pinks, or darks? Yeah. Was that yeah. it? Yeah, purple, pink, and dark. Hey, she says, <laughs> I'm so excited. All right, we'll get it measured and in the salt so we can see its true color. All right, it's so a 7.06. And it is beautiful, beautiful gold. I mean, just gold, right? Can you see much other color? Maybe I like saw a, pinky gold, but as like it's a, driving it. Right, as yeah, it's drying, it's more of just gold. Maybe yeah. a slight undertone of like a peach. So thanks for sharing, Judy. Yeah, we will be doing our giveaway like normal at the end of the night. Um, anyone who has chosen to share our video publicly will be eligible for our giveaway, which will be our last oyster in the bowl this evening. All right. Oh, very fun. Andrea, if you want to give us a name, I can do a shout out. Sometimes that gets a smile because they're like, well, how in the world does that person know who I am? Of course, she's heard me say your name, so it might not be quite as exciting. <laughs> WVU Gold, yes. Yeah, I do see a little bit of like a peach undertone to it. So 
All right, she said dark. Yay, we got a dark one. Beautiful dark one. Not feeling a twin. Twins have not shown up yet. All right, and let's see. I'm seeing a bit of a blue overtone right now. So we'll see. We'll get it dried off. Yeah, definitely seeing quite a bit of blue still. It measures into the 7.29. Yeah, gorgeous. A gorgeous black one with a blue, a dark blue overtone. Hi, Casey. What do you think of that blue pearl? Isn't it pretty? Gorgeous. It has a really good shine on that one. It does, yeah. The mm -hmm. luster is beautiful. It's nice and shiny. Gorgeous. So we are still taking orders for tonight. Tonight our hostess is Holly, so she's benefiting. Uh, she's getting the hostess rewards from tonight's party, but you don't have to know her personally in order to order in on tonight's party. So you can shop at mountainmamapearls.com and choose oysters with the um, Facebook logo on them with tonight's date and they'll be open tonight. We also have a party open for Monday night um, and our hostess Monday night is Mandy White. Ooh, it's another gorgeous dark one. And then we will not be live again. Oh, I should have looked at our schedule before we sat down. I feel like our next live event is probably Friday the 24th. So we have a little bit of a lull. I have some traveling plans and I'm going to be away. And um, tech support still is refusing to get in front of the camera. So, <laughs> oh. All right, here we go. All right, it's a 7.28. So it measures in really good. It's another beautiful dark one. I'm seeing maybe a little bit of a blue overtone, but it's super subtle on this one. Okay, now I'm almost seeing a little bit of a green. I'm anxious to see what the lights pick up. Mm. But the color overtone is very subtle on that one. <laughs> Holly says, boo, we want to see you tech support. <laughs> I tell you, I need him as backup to do a show so I would think it would be very difficult for him to be in front of the camera and doing everything he always does <laughs> behind the camera. <laughs> but it could be really interesting. Yeah. You could get the kids in on it. Like it could be like a circus night. <gasps> oh, circus. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You you could surprise me and go live and like uh -huh. get the kids in on it, and it could be like a circus night at yeah. Mountain Mama Pearls. Littlest one open arms. Huh? We'll let Peyton open them. Yeah, we'll let the littlest one open the oysters. She's actually pretty good at it. Yeah. All right, a beautiful light one. She's had more experience than I have. Yeah, that's true, she has. Tech support's like, she's had more experience opening oysters than I have. And she has. <laughs> he Isn't he a great hand model, though? Great hand model. I was going to say, I was going to call you a troll hunter, but I don't know if that's the appropriate <laughs> terminology. <laughs> mm, so. Oh, look, see, Mom says you should do a show. Yeah. We can all sit up and Vermont and watch you. It'll be fun. A 7.15 is how this one measures in. Beautiful, beautiful light one. Was that a little bit of that off-white, little ivory touch to it? Beautiful lineup so far, Andrea. Belly button too. It does. I yeah. noticed it has a little belly button. Which in the cage settings, um, the little belly buttons don't really show so much. If you choose um, a pearl to ha be drilled set, we always look over the surface really well first and determine um, its prettiest face, its prettiest side, um, and drill accordingly so that that's, that side is what ends up being showcased. So. If your preference is different, if you prefer to have that character mark, that belly button showing, um, then make sure to let us know that. So I don't feel a twin. This one looks like a beautiful, like, I want to call it like a rose champagne. We'll see how it dries off and against the white. 
No, it's darkening up some. So, is it cold, Mandy? <laughs> I'm going to be up there the end of next week, so I'm hoping for maybe a slight warm snap. I don't know. Is there any warmer weather? Although at the same time, I wouldn't mind having a lot of snow. I just want to be able to fly in and out without huge delays. All right, a 7.10. <laughs> She did. She wanted purple, pink, and dark. Yeah, and that first one really does. It's really peach gold. It's really not so pink. So, <laughs> well, we try. We aim to please around here. <laughs> All right, you have another dark one on your lineup. I was kind of hoping for another gorgeous purple, but the dark ones are pretty too. And this one so far has quite a bit of a blue overtone to it as well. And Holly says, twin thoughts. I know, right? My six-year-old is watching, talking about, Mom, are you going to win again? Oh, who is that? Judy Sturdy. Oh, sweet. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe, Judy, if you share publicly, share our video publicly, and we will be doing our giveaway like normal at the end of the night. So, And we are still taking orders for tonight. Uh, you can shop at mountainmamapearls.com and choose an oyster that has the Facebook icon. And... Um, Choose tonight's party date as your option. So 7.17 is how this one measures in. We'll put it on the black salt. I'm still seeing quite a lot of blue on it. And sometimes those overtones kind of um, become more subtle as they dry, but I'm still seeing that one. So, oh, Samantha, absolutely. The next one I open, we'll do a close up of the inside. It's a very interesting uh, process of finding your pearl. Once in a while, you end up cutting in just the right place and the pearl is visible. And then quite often, you actually have to investigate a little bit and find the pearl sac where the pearl forms in. Yeah, this is a beautiful, beautiful overtone of blue. Okay, I have to put this last one next to your second pearl, that other blue. All right, the overtones are slightly different. I'm gonna leave them next to each other for the camera. They both have a blue overtone. They're slightly different in mm -hmm. presentation or shade. So beautiful lineup, Andrea. Is Scotty still here? Scotty, do you still have power? Do you still have a battery? Let me know if you're still here, Scotty. We will do yours next. And I know that she said she wanted a dark, dark colored shell. <laughs> Andrea, I'm glad you love them. They're beautiful and a nice mix of darks and lights. Okay, oh, fantastic. You just got on another uh, device, I see. Okay, so Scotty, the way this works is I'm gonna show you all five up close, and then I see that you purchased two for the show tonight, so I will let you choose which two you are wanting us to open, okay? So this is the first one, it's quite a lot darker. It has a little barnacle on the front. All right, that's number one. Number two, the shell is quite a bit lighter. It's got some seaweed and stuff going on. See that little piece of seaweed sticking out the top? That's number two. Number three is the smallest one of this lineup. Number four, very smooth shell, not really much going on as far as like barnacles or rope or anything. And then number five's got some interesting characteristics on the side here. It has like a little spot that's like really shiny. I'm not sure what's 
it's not the mother of pearl showing through, it's some other exterior deposit. All right, so which two are we keeping? You let me know. One, two, three, four, and five are the way we have them numbered. So you let me know which two. And for those of you just joining us tonight, um, our hostess is Holly. You do not need to know her in order to purchase in on her party. We are still taking orders for tonight. You can shop at mountainmamapearls.com and choose the oysters with the Facebook logo on them and choose tonight's date as your option. We also have a show uh, live this Monday. Oh, she said two and five. There we go. Uh, so that, that shopping option is open as well. So this coming Monday. So, all right, so here we go. She said numbers two and five. Any particular color of pearl you're hoping for? Let's see. Oh, that's right. I was going to show you the inside. Okay, so this one I had to dig around a little bit for. But you can see the pearl right there. Do you see it? Ooh, dripping. It's dripping. <laughs> Thankfully, there's nothing underneath there. So, so that is the inside. And we always like to poke around just a little bit more and make sure there's not a twin hiding. I don't see a twin in there at all. All right, so she doesn't care about colors. Something pretty. So this first one is light colored. And we'll see as we get it dried off and in the salt, it definitely has a, a creamier tone to it. All right. Let's see. Hold on, this one's got a little bit of... Stuff on too. What is it? You make the opening thing look easy. It's not that easy. Oh, it's not too hard, but you do have to have like a routine or a skill to it. A 7.14. Anthony said, thank you. That was cool. Oh, for sure. I'll keep an eye out and see if we find a blister pearl. Those are fun. You find one a pearl that's kind of like it fixed itself to the shell. So this is a beautiful. It definitely has a, a pink tone to it, but it's much more... Champagne. I would call it a blushed mm. champagne. Mm -hmm. Make sure they get a good, good look at it. Are the lights picking up the color well? Mm -hmm. Good. Mm -hmm. ah, Candace says it's not easy at all. I have found that um, using a sharper knife works wonderfully. So I did begin with an oyster knife, and the oyster knife does not have a sharp edge. It's certainly the safest tool to use. Um, but after opening quite a few and learning where is the safest place to put um, the blade, you can use a sharper knife. You just want to be really careful when you're cutting downward with a sharper knife. You don't want to cut all the way to the bottom because you will risk running into the pearl and potentially scratching that um, knacker, that outer layer. So I don't feel a twin. Twins haven't shown up yet tonight, huh? A beautiful dark one and she that's right she had said that she would be happy with whatever so yay a light one and a dark one yeah that blushed champagne is beautiful and this so far do I have an overtone this maybe a little bit of blue we'll see as it dries out some more the 7.1 is how it measures in all right and yes, beautiful black, the slightest bit of a blue overtone, but it's slight, so. What were her colors? <laughs> she was happy with anything. So she said that the, these two were perfect. So, beautiful. All right, Jody, are you here? Jody's order was the last oyster order for the party that was in before the party started. And then I see we've had a couple orders come in after that. So, who is on deck? Miranda White, you are on deck. Ah, and Brandy, I have your order. You're on deck as well. All right, and Jody is here. 
All right, Jody. I see you purchased five as part of this party, so I am choosing wisely from the bowl. I hope I am going to wow you with all of the wonderful colors you want. So what colors are you hoping for? Any particular ones? Here's oyster number one. Not much going on. Not too much seaweed or anything. Oh, and another thing, another tip for um, ease of opening, if you're ordering um, oysters to open at home, is opening them and letting them sit for a little while can help as well because it will dry out the shell a little bit and make it easier to crack the top edge open. All right, so she was saying a mixture, right? So mm -hmm. here's, we're hoping for a good, and every once in a while, if you get a meaty one, sometimes I like to just kind of get in there and press around and make sure that you're not missing a pearl. I think this is going to be a gorgeous dark purple. Mm -hmm. Was there a question? Mm -hmm. Oh. I thought I saw you with something. With a question on your mind. All right, so she's hoping for a mixture. We're starting out with a beautiful, let me just zero this out so we get an accurate reading. All right, it measures into this 7.31, and it is a gorgeous saturated color, and it is absolutely purple. I mean, it's almost like blue. It's so purple, if that makes sense. Yeah. Isn't that beautiful? Mm -hmm. Oh, Megan wants dark purple. <laughs> like that one right there, Megan? <laughs> That's Jody's first. First one of her run. All right, the next one, the shell is quite a bit darker. It's smaller than the others. <laughs> she says, I love it. <sighs> we had a bunch of purples the other night. We had a crazy amount of purples come mm -hmm. up in our runs. So, all right, this one's looking quite gold so far. I don't feel a twin in there either. Mm -hmm. Edna's saying purples are her favorites too. Mm -hmm. she said she liked that one. Yeah. <laughs> ah, thanks for joining us, Kendra. And we are going to do our normal giveaway at the end of the night. So last oyster in the bowl goes to somebody who we pick who has shared our video publicly. So it's a 7.19. And I can't wait to see the color next to this one. I'm going to say it's going to look pink next to the first one, but it is definitely still in the purple family. It looks a lot lighter mm. next to that first one, but I have a tickle on my nose. Mm -mm. I think I have a fuzzy from a towel or something. <laughs> so beautiful. Now, that's right. She said a mixture. All right. Here's hoping the next one's not purple too. <laughs> <laughs> she said a mixture. Stop thinking purple thoughts, tech support. <laughs> um, all right. Oh, so I should tell you all, I'm breaking out the red wig tomorrow. A handful of you who have followed us from the beginning will know what I'm talking about because that was a long time ago. That was Halloween. So I wore a red wig and did up my makeup to be over the top as Ariel. And I am breaking out the red wig only for a friend. I would only do it for a friend. <laughs> and will be appearing at a birthday party as Ariel. Uh, oh. Ollie's like, what? You should have put it on tonight. <sighs> oh, yes. Well, if you want to relive that throwback, go back and watch our event from Halloween. 7.08 is how this one measures in, and it is lighter colored next to these. I mean, look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? This one has a little belly button too. I feel like we're seeing a lot of belly buttons tonight. The ombre of these, like together though, from the darker purple, I think this third one definitely is much more pink. What did you just do? Thanks for that. I'm like looking at these beautiful pearls and you're up there like, love you. That's lovely. Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, yes, it was over the top. <laughs> My poor father did not know what to do with that event. <laughs> Although I do think that he didn't have the reference to Ariel, and now that he has that mm -hmm. reference, he's a little bit more settled about the whole event, but he may still be processing. I don't know, Dad, are you still processing? <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
It was definitely out of my normal, so. All right, so beautiful lineup so far, Jody. Gorgeous dark purples and really a beautiful fading into yeah, that pink. Shaker, Isn't that, oh, those would look gorgeous in the tower pendant. <laughs> Mom's like, nice That's job, so Texamore. <laughs> way, way to get in there and just, you know. All right, yeah, I feel like we're doing dark to light right now. This is a lot lighter. This is definitely in the pink family. I'm not feeling a twin in there. All right. Oh, <laughs> my dad stepped out, so he missed that comment. That's probably a good thing. No need to relay that message. <laughs> All right, so here we go. We are opening number four. Let's zero this out so we don't end up with a funny reading. All of a sudden, our pearls jump to size nine millimeter now. 7.25 and it is definitely gorgeous gorgeous pink but look in that lineup I mean it's just perfect but it's definitely pink that was interesting what make how so oh just their order tech right? support says wow that's really lighter, interesting right? they do like and facility. she said variety and here we are like <laughs> so slowly getting out of <laughs> The purple realm yeah, into yeah. the pink realm. I'm hoping this next one will be dark, dark, dark. They're not even out of sequence. They're I know, they're not even out of sequence. They're in perfect order. All right, she said variety. So here we go, Jody. I'm hoping for something a little different. So you have variety. She says, very nice. All right, here we go. Wow, it's not perfectly visible yet. Ooh, it's something different. It is dark and it's just extra juicy and I can't quite tell. So I'm really just jumping in there and making sure. Ooh. Yeah, there's not a twin. And I did, I really checked. It was juicy. Yay, we have variety. Beautiful dark one. Oh, I'm seeing a lot of different colors playing off of it. I think a lot of it is the, um, not the salt, the alcohol in the water that these are treated with will often produce different color overtones. So, yay, it's dark. Okay, wow. Yeah, okay, I can't decide. I'm like purple, green, we'll see. We'll let it dry a little bit more. Right now I'm seeing quite a lot of purple. It's a 7.06. All right. And let's see. Yeah, so I'm seeing a really interesting variation of color. And so I'm not exactly sure what's going to stick as it fully dries out. But I'm seeing some green. I'm seeing some purple. What do you see under the good lights there. Yeah, I see that. It's like undertones, right? Yeah, yeah, they're subtle. So, let's see, we need to open a few more here. So, beautiful lineup, Jody, And we managed some variety in there. Right. They match really well if you want them to, or you can mix them up and really help them contrast each other. The way they're sitting in that bowl right now, they definitely just flow right together. Yeah, I'm definitely seeing a lot more purple off of this dark one, but it does have spots that look a little bit more green. So, let's see, I'm gonna mix the order up just a little bit. Aha, see, look at that. Just changing up that order, you can see the variety and the color just a little bit better. When they're also next to each other, they just kind mm -hmm. of look so fluid. Right. So you can see a little bit more of the variety if we mix them up like that, Jody. But they're gorgeous. <laughs> Andrea is so excited about her pearls. <laughs> well, and for those of you that have an order in for tonight um, that chose to just order oysters to begin with, if you choose to add jewelry onto that order, um, make sure to use our code, which is still active, yes? Okay, so if you use the code add on shipping, all lowercase, no spaces, it will allow you to submit um, an additional order without having to pay for shipping a second time, okay? So that, that code is for those of you who already have an order in, you've already paid for shipping, 
If you want to add jewelry to it, you can do so without paying for shipping an additional time, okay? So, and with that as well, I'm trying to work out this whole process. Um, I like to package up our orders and get them out like on the spot if I can. But I have found that from time to time that's too fast and people are still thinking about maybe they want to add jewelry to their order. So we will eventually be putting into place an actual policy about if we don't receive an additional add-on order, then your pearls will be shipped within so many hours. Um, but just know if you are ready for um, your pearls to be mailed, if that completes your order, that's fine. Just drop me a message and let me know they're ready to go and they will get out a lot sooner. If I don't hear from you and you don't put in an additional jewelry order, I'm gonna hold them for a couple days to make sure I'm not shipping them out too quickly. So, <laughs> Holly, that's a really good question. How many pearls do I have? Uh, my pearl collection started when I was a little girl and I went to pearl parties with my mom. So I have a small collection of pearls from that time and then I am growing my pearl collection but I don't know if it's really fair to count them as mine. She's worth a thousand oysters. I know. I'm like, I currently own a thousand oysters, but those aren't all mine. <laughs> um, that's inventory. So I don't know if I have a concrete answer to that. We're always ordering in new settings as well. And so we always play around with those and the ones that we don't necessarily love enough to make product just end up in my jewelry bin. So um, yeah, I have a growing Let's stick with I have a growing collection. That's a good one. I have a growing collection. <sighs> yes, it is quite an addiction, so beware. It's fun. <laughs> All right, so Miranda White, are you here? I have Miranda White's order up. I want to make sure she's here. And then Brandy Fulmer, you're on deck. And we are still taking orders for tonight, so if you're interested in purchasing in on Holly's party, um, you don't have to know Holly. Uh, she just benefits uh, with the hostess rewards tonight from everyone's orders. So you can shop at mountainmamapearls.com and choose the oyster that has the Facebook logo or icon on it and choose tonight as your option, as your date. So, Aha, Mandy, you're here. That's so funny. You're ordering on Holly's event and then you're live with your own event on Monday. That's so cool. Okay, so here we go. Ah, my mom's commenting on profile pictures. Holly, you look way too young to have a daughter. <laughs> Say thanks, Sylvia. <laughs> All right, so let's see. I'm looking for Mandy. She's here. You know the drill. I'm going to let you see them up close, and then you can let me know which one we're opening, okay? So the first one I would have to venture to say is the largest one of the lineup. Seaweed on the front, some remnant rope pieces on the back. All right, here we go. Number two is a little bit smaller, a bit darker. All right, number three, it's got some seaweed on the front. So Holly, you've got your hands full then, huh? I'm a mama to four, so I know with three, there's a lot going on. Number four has a little scratch of the outer shell. You can see some of that mother of pearl coming through. And then number five, number five has like ear seaweed. There's like seaweed coming out the side. Ear seaweed, I don't know. And that's number five. So Mandy, which one are we opening? One, two, three, four, or five? You let me know. Yeah, Mandy's like, I can't help it. It's too addicting. <laughs> Holly, I always tease people when they comment and they're like, you're not old enough to have, you know, that many kids or old enough to have that old of a kid. And I tell them they keep me young. They may cause me to go gray, but they keep me young. All right, number four, please and thank you. All right, Mandy, what color? What color, what color? Oh, and are you keeping a total for me so that, mm -hmm. yes? Mm -hmm. She's up to two right now. All right, so Holly, you have earned two free oysters so far. All right, has she answered color? A beautiful light colored one. Oh, oh, Mandy found our first set of twins. Yay. She said bright white. Did she really? Yeah. Oh, she said bright white. And I produced two? <laughs> They're really white, close to white. They might be slightly champagne. 
They might be slightly champagne. We'll see. We'll get them on the salt. Everyone's like, yay! Oh, I can't believe she called bright white. They are looking a bit creamy against the black. We'll see how they, mm -hmm. how they look against the white salt. They often can seem significantly different based upon the background color. It's kind of odd. All right, they measure in. It is 6.87 is the first one. Ooh, pretty. And a 6.76 as the second one. <laughs> Good question, Grandma. <laughs> my mom's asking, is the tea party still happening? Because my youngest one, my three-year-old, took a nap today. She's at growing naps, you see. And even though at 2.30 I thought it was a bright idea to have a nap, she was not ready for bed. So they are beautifully light colored. I would say they are a bit ivory, just that, that slightest mm -hmm. off-white tone, but really rich looking because of that. It's a good match though, right? Did you think so? Um, tech support would definitely call these a match for earrings. I would have to take a closer look again. I feel like the luster of one gives it a slight different appearance totally different than the yeah. other. I, they're definitely the same color family. It's just sometimes mm -hmm. that luster just makes them present a bit different. Yeah. As in, not a match, a bit different. All right. Oh, Brandy, that's too funny. Her mom gets asked if her son is hers. <laughs> All right. Beautiful, Mandy. They're gorgeous. All right, so in regards to a match for, she you were thinking for earrings. If they're close, one of them is earrings. Uh oh, she's okay, so now she's putting the pressure on. Okay, hold on. Let me resize them. We interrupt this for a short evaluation. Earring sizing. Earring sizing. <laughs> All right, they are really close in size. Yeah, right. Can you send us your ear measurements too? No, I'm just kidding. No, they are really close. I think the luster of one just makes it present slightly lighter in tone. Um, but I think that you would be happy with them as a match. Yeah, that's my final answer. I think they're, I think they're a good match. You should get sticky stuff. You so, put them on your ears? I should get sticky <laughs> stuff. I could like stick them onto my ears and be like, what do you think? <laughs> you can model them. Uh, <laughs> no, but I like to, someone asked the other day about trying to match with a picture over the computer. And I'm like, if I just wanted to make a sale, I'd say yes, but I want you happy with them when you open the box. So it's, you definitely need them in person to make a choice. And even when they're in front of you, it's like, ah, just want to make sure. Yes, exactly. Brandy says, just put a head between them. That's what the jeweler says. The jeweler says by the time you put a head between them, nobody would know. All right, I'm looking for Brandy Fulmer. Brandy, you're still here, right? Brandy Fulmer? Fulmer. Brandy. I know she was here. Yes, here she is. Okay, you know the drill. I'm going to show you these five. You're going to let me know which one is yours. She has a note adding to my collection on her order. All right, so this is number one. The shell is really interesting on the front. It's lighter, has lots of little uh, specks of starting barnacles. Number two has quite a lot of seaweed up the front there. Uh, yes, you have time to order, Kaylee, if you order right now, because I'm opening the last order right now. So, mountainmamapearls.com, hit the oysters, Look for the ones that have the Facebook logo. Choose tonight's date on the drop down. Number three. Oh, this is the one that has seaweed, seaweed ear. I don't know. Ear seaweed. It's like sticking off on the side there. Number four is quite a lot darker than the other shells. And then number five. Also kind of lighter and a bit smaller than the others. So Brandy, there is your lineup. Which one are we opening for you? Let me know. One, two, three, four, or five. You let me know. And we are doing our typical giveaway like we do at the end of our show this evening. So if you are interested in possibly winning the last oyster in the bowl tonight, 
choose to share our video publicly and that will make you eligible. <laughs> Good night, Mom. Sleep well. <sighs> okay, she says number three and she's praying for dark. Okay, here we go. Hoping for a really dark one. She's adding to her collection, so she's hoping for specific colors. Here we go. She's hoping for a dark one. Hoping for a dark one. Hoping for a dark one. And it might be on the darker side with a purple. Not on the dark side as in black. How dark were we talking? We should have defined our terms. I did not feel a twin in there. It definitely, I think, is going to darken up to be a beautiful purple. So. Oh, I saw some shout outs from where people are from. Mm -hmm. Somebody watching from South Dakota. Missouri, Kansas, California. Oh, very fun. All right, this one measures in at a 6.55. So it's a smaller one. I felt around in there though. I did not feel any twins. That's beautiful purple. Look mm -hmm. at that. Isn't that gorgeous? Yeah. Beautiful. So it's a nice color, Brandy. I don't know if you have a lot of purples in your collection already. Oh good, she says she likes the purple. Phew. Yay. <laughs> So a gorgeous addition to the collection. Very sweet. All right, so we are still taking orders for tonight. So mountainmamapearls.com and choosing the uh, oysters with the Facebook logo and choosing tonight's date is your option. And I'll wait for next live. Okay, Kaylee, that's fine. We Our next live show is on Monday and that option is open on there, so. Um, our hostess for tonight is Holly, and how many free oysters has Holly earned? She has earned two free oysters. All right, so Holly, we're going to go ahead and do those now. If people want to submit orders, you still can, and if that affects your um, free oyster benefits, we will make the adjustments accordingly. All right. She's like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, so Holly, I'm going to give you... A line of a five, and you're going to choose which two we're opening, okay? As part of your hostess benefits. All right, so here is the first one. I think uh, I think just slightly smaller than number five. So the smallest one of the lineup. Here you go. Number two is this one here. Got a little bit of remnant rope piece on the back. Number three has got some, like, rough texture to the shell, some lighter barnacle pieces there. Number four, it's got some seaweed sticking off the bottom and some interesting contrasting color on the shell. And then number five is that second, second to smallest. It's got some interesting little barnacle pieces on the side there. So Holly, let us know which two are your free oysters for your hostess benefits. One, two, three, four, or five. And Lauren, I saw your question. Um, hosting an online party is as simple as contacting us, letting us know you're interested. Um, and then what we ask of you is that you would do some legwork in inviting your friends and getting them excited um, and hopefully getting some orders in before the party starts. Um, so right now we are completely booked for all of our live shows through the end of March and I have a wait list and have not opened our April schedule yet just because the rest of our life doesn't plan that far in advance and we wanna make sure to keep our priorities uh, in the right order. So if you're interested in hosting a party, um, you can drop us a message on Facebook or you can email us at mountainmamapearls um, at gmail.com and we can get you on the wait list. But again, that wait list um, won't, be going, won't be contacted for parties until we open our April schedule. Okay, all right, the pressure is on. What was she hoping for? She was hoping that they're dark blue and twins. Okay, well the first one is really dark, so we're almost we're almost there. I'm not sure how much blue is on it yet. We'll see. So here we go. Here. No, I was trying to read it. It's so hard trying to read the comments and like keep talking and. I got my pearls in the love box today. Love them. Uh -huh. I'd rather not get them out of my husband tonight. My boys are around for the evening, so I have to wait until tomorrow. 
Oh, very fun, Trisha. Mm -hmm. I'm glad you enjoy it. Oh, okay, so they got another oyster, so they're going to wait until everybody's there. Mm -hmm. Very fun. All right, so this one measures in at a 6.75. It is a dark one. I'm not seeing a lot of color. Maybe a little bit of blue. It's super subtle, though. <laughs> she says, pressure is on, girly. Oh, I hope this next one is twins. <laughs> so badly hope it's twins, Holly. All right, here we go. Everybody think twin thoughts. Twins, twins, twins. Dark blue and twins. Man, that's like a double whammy, too. Oh, dear. All right. Dark, dark twins. Dark twins. All right. Well, it's not. Um, <laughs> it's a singleton. I'm not feeling a twin in there. And so far, it's looking quite pink, but I don't know. It might have a bit of like a purple tone. I don't know. It's seeming a bit lighter right now. So make sure to share our video publicly if you guys want a chance to be eligible to win the last oyster of the night. And anyone who had um, orders in already this evening have already paid for shipping. If you're interested in adding jewelry to your order, you can do that and just use the code add on shipping, all lowercase, no spaces. And that way you can put in an additional order without paying for shipping. If you use that code and have not previously paid for shipping though, expect an invoice for us from us for that shipping difference, okay? All right, this one measures in at the 6.94. I feel like some of our singletons have been a little bit smaller tonight. They've been slightly under that seven, which will make some of our settings, like the silver plated lotus and the sterling silver flower pendant do better with pearls that are just like up to a seven or slightly over. So these would work well with that. I'm trying to decide if it's pink or even slightly into that purple. What do you think? I think next to that black one, it's looking it's a lot more tell. pink. Yeah. But I think it might actually have a little bit of purple tone mm -hmm. to it. Pretty Holly. Oh, yay. She said pink's her favorite color. Well, we, we kind of did well then. We got a dark one. It's definitely, the blue is extremely subtle. It is still there, even though even now is after it's dried off a bit, but it is more subtle. So maybe depending upon like what you wear it with or how you set it or wear it in jewelry, it might show more. So would you make a quick tag for me with Holly's name on it so that we can keep these organized? So gorgeous. Well, Holly, thanks for having a party with us. I'm going to have tech support double check, make sure we didn't have any other pending orders in there. So know that if you guys have any questions at all, if you're interested in doing, um, a jewelry add-on, but you're not entirely sure what your pearl would look like or whatnot, feel free to message me. Um, we'll be on for a bit um, here, just closing up some other orders and whatnot. So we'd be happy to answer any questions that you have. So. You want to show any of the I can. Tech support says, do you want to show any of the necklaces? Maybe. So, huh? Oh, I just hand them. So yeah, you can hand me a few. Um, if anyone else wanted to put an order in, you can comment below and let us know that you're going to go and do that. And we will lull out for a minute or two here and open yours. Otherwise, in a couple moments, we will do our giveaway for sharing our video publicly. And that will be an oyster from our bowl. All right. So a few of the items that we have in our store are displayed here. Not all of them, a few of them. So we have um, cage pendants that include a silver plated selection as well as a sterling silver collection. These two are both cage pendants on the end and they are both part of the sterling silver collection. Um, the way the cage pendants work are much like a locket. So when you take the chain out, the pendant will open up and allow you to place the pearl inside. Next to those are two of our just elegant drop. These are drilled settings um, that allow the pearl to just be really pronounced in the setting, not covered up by any metal work. So, and then next to that is our dew drop, 
which is a sweet little drilled setting and accommodates pretty much any size pearl that we would get. So a nice, uh, nice option for any pearl that you would have gotten through us. Mm -hmm. And then my aim is true is that sweet arrow setting. And that one is actually built on the chain. So the shortest you can wear that is at 17 inches and the longest it will go is 19 inches. Um, it does well with any size pearl we have. However, we have had customers comment that it does look a bit dwarfed under the larger pearls that we open. So um, it would be a perfect fit for a small twin or a pearl that's in the smaller sevens, um, depending upon how, you, how pronounced you want the setting to be versus the pearl. Um, next to that is Pure Love, and that is a sterling silver drilled setting. That's the small heart. All right, and then next to that is the snowflake setting, and that is set, um, I don't know how much the camera's picking up there, but um, those are little cubic zirconia crystals on the ends of each stem there of the snowflake. And then the Trio, one of our newest drilled settings, which I love. And what's interesting to note about the Trio, I was wearing it the other day and a friend commented, oh, it moves around. Um, I don't know, text board, if you can show how the pieces, each of the three pieces are actually like linked to one another. So there's actually a little bit of fluidity there. It's not a stiff bar. Um, and then that last one is our spiral setting, which is in sterling silver. And the spiral setting, one thing to note about that is it's actually built onto the chain. So we recommend that um, you choose a chain length that is most universal for the majority of your outfits. We do offer um, the adjustable sterling silver chain, which I love in that setting just because if I'm going to invest in a drilled setting like that, I want to be able to wear it most often so that adjustable chain allows that one to work really well. So, all right, did I see a request from Holly? Maybe holding off a little bit. She's trying to decide about putting an order in now. So we can do that, Holly, for just a couple minutes. Um, we are going to do our giveaway, so if you have not shared the video publicly, do so. Make sure to share it publicly. Make yourself eligible. Our giveaway will be our last oyster of the evening. All right. Unless Holly wants to open another one or two. Hmm? Unless Holly wants to open another one or two. Yes, that's true. Because she said she's going to ask her husband about the one. She yes, did. yes. We could do our giveaway now. <clears throat> and then okay. if Holly, yeah, absolutely. So share publicly. If you haven't, you only have to share once. Do you want to give me a number that I can mm -hmm. work it's from? Almost your last chance. Last chance to share and make sure it's public because if it's not public, then we won't see it. So that's the important part. So, all right, everybody's like sharing. <laughs> Holly's like, it's all good. I'm giving everybody extra time to share. So, yay. All right, tech support's looking. He's trying to see how many shares we've had so I can pick a number and he can get to counting. 184. Woohoo, 184 shares. All right, and you're going to give me a piece of paper and a pen. Awesome. So, and keep in mind, guys, if you did have an order in for tonight and you want to add on to it, um, make sure to use that, that add-on shipping code. Um, if Depending upon what device you're using when you shop, it may automatically capitalize that first letter, in which case our system is not smart enough and won't take that code. So make sure to keep track of that and... Um, right go back and adjust that capital so remember to follow us and like our page yes make sure to follow us make sure to like our page um whenever we add new products we always announce it on the facebook page so if you want to be made aware of that um uh, make sure that you're following okay and throughout the month of february we are still continuing our fundraiser for jess everly um we're supporting jess's journey by um giving donations off of sales um towards her fundraiser so we've had two nights so far this um, month in February that were marked as part of her fundraiser. And um, we are gonna be live with her at her paint and sip fundraising event up in Uniontown, Pennsylvania on February 25th. There are still tickets being sold for that event. Um, if you're interested, you can find more information on our Facebook page. And you can also link over to Jess's journey, New Lungs, New Life, and find information there. Um, tickets for that event are $40, and the majority of that um, goes to supporting the fundraiser. Some of that cost goes towards over um, covering some of the supply fees and whatnot. 
but it'll be a wonderful event. You'll be walked through a beautiful painting that you'll get to take home with you. There'll also be a Chinese auction with a bunch of different items that have been donated from different vendors. There'll be an item on the auction block for Mountain Mama Pearls, and I will be there set up, so you can also shop with us there. Um, so it will be a really fun event. If you're at all local or around Uniontown, Pennsylvania, I would strongly encourage you to check it out and get a ticket. So <laughs> Holly's like, quick, more people need to order. <laughs> she wants to see more pearls. She's feeling the withdrawal already starting. <laughs> Oh, Erica, that would be fantastic. Yeah, I think it sounds like a really fun event. And the list, I couldn't believe I was talking with um, one of the ladies that's helping to organize it. And the list of vendors is unreal. Um, lots of opportunities to um, do some fun shopping. So especially if you're thinking ahead for like Mother's Day gifts and whatnot. So, oh, you handed it to me with a number. I'm like, why are you giving me a number? <laughs> what am I supposed to do with a number? Flip it over. All right. Uh, Brandy, you don't have to paint. Um, the event is by ticket only, though. So you do have to purchase a ticket to get in the door. Um, but I don't believe that they will force you to sit and paint. <laughs> so, all right. I am wondering if Samantha Zaffel, is that, is a Z? Yes? Mm -hmm. Samantha Zappel, are you still here? You shared our video really early on, so you may still not be here. I don't know. Either way, though. Is it L-E or E-L? It's L-E. One F or two? Two Fs. There she is. <laughs> Did you find her? <laughs> so. I have actually never. Oh, yeah, she's here. Um, I have actually never done a paint and sip event, but I am so looking forward to it. I think it'll be a lot of fun. So, all right, she is here. All right, so yeah, and talk about like a fantastic like mom's night out or girl's night out would be so fun. Um, your $40 ticket covers entrance into the event. I know that there'll be some light refreshments served. Um, the artist is actually giving her time for this, donating her time to Jess, um, and will be walking us through a painting and taking short breaks. So it sounds like we'll be like, painting for 30 minutes and then taking a break to get up and walk around, look at the vendors and then coming back and painting some more. So it will not be a super intense, like highly artistic, stressful night. It will be a relaxing and enjoyable evening. So consider coming if you're around. So, okay, so Samantha, this is your oyster. Is there any particular color pearl or pearls that you're wanting? Maybe. All right, and then Holly is, Holly's deciding about maybe purchasing some oysters before we sign off tonight. All right, did she answer me yet? About what? Samantha, did she say what color? <clears throat> I love that comment. I've done one before and I can't draw a stick figure, but the instructor was so amazing and the painting looked so good. That's what I've seen. Like I've seen groups of people and I'm like, certainly not everyone in that group is that artistic, right? But they always turn out fantastic. All right, I don't see Samantha's comment yet. Samantha, I was curious what color you were wanting. It looks like a beautiful lighter, maybe on the pink side of things. Pink and twins. Pink and twins. Well, spot on girlfriend, we did it. Yes. Shell just really pretty. Is the shell just really pretty? See, it looks like a full like, blue. Like, that yeah, the inside, blue. the, yeah, I can show you <clears> the inside <throat> of the shell. It is very blue. The inside is closest to you, so it's very blue. Yeah. Mm hmm. Let's see if I can get it cleaned off enough that yeah, you can yeah, actually yeah, see. Yay, I did it! <laughs> Woohoo! Way to end the night on a high note. Give the ladies what they want. Okay, yeah, mm -hmm. this is beautiful. Look at the blue. Mm -hmm. See the inside of that shell and all of the blue and that. Mother of Pearl there is gorgeous. Oh, these are sweet twins. Okay, I can't wait to see their color. They are very light. I'm gonna be anxious to see how much of the pink shows through. Ah, oh, she says she's jumping off the bed. <laughs> see, I get so, that's why I wanna know what color people want, because I get to be doubly, doubly excited. Mm -hmm. So, it has been a good night. I am opening what people want. See, shop at Mountain Mama Pearls to get the pearl you want.
right? All right, it's a 6.75. All right. And a 6.63. They're definitely not identical. They're definitely fraternal. But they are pink. One is a little bit darker than the other one. I'm trying to give it a better descriptor. But I don't, yeah, just a lighter pink and then just a little bit more, just darker. Maybe a little gray? I don't know. What do you see under the lights up there? Good night, Brianna. Thanks for joining us. I think both quite shiny. A little bit different, but. Yeah. Samantha, do people often not get your last name right? I feel like I'm terrible with pronunciation, so I figured if there was a way to mispronounce it, I would have, I would have been the one to do it. <laughs> Will you make a tag? Oh, never mind. I already have a tag. Shira's asking me about that new one left in the bowl. Oh, Shira. Well, I was waiting to hear back from Holly to know if she was... Oh, <laughs> hubby just got out of the shower. Hold on one second. <laughs> do, 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 do. Hubby, have the right answer. <laughs> and somebody was asking me if you do anything with the shells. Um, no, I don't do anything with the shells. I have seen some people shine them up though and use them. I one time had um, a lady win a giveaway at one of our vendor fairs and she purposely asked to keep her shell. So I thought that was interesting. She wanted to clean it off and save it as a souvenir. So. All right. So we're waiting to hear from Holly. Yes, Holly, you do. You will have some hostess rewards in the way of store credit. So, which can be spent towards oysters or jewelry. Um, but typically we close that out after all of your um, party members have closed out their orders so that we can give you a final total total. So usually that takes a day or two depending upon how quickly people close out their orders with us. So, um, and just as a reminder, those of you that had oyster orders in, if you're looking to add jewelry to that order, or maybe you did purchase jewelry already, but you decided you wanted to do an additional item, use the add-on shipping, all lowercase, no spaces to do that. Um, if your order is complete without adding on, drop me a message and let me know, and it will get packaged and out in tomorrow's mail. Um, otherwise, if I don't hear from you and you haven't placed a jewelry order, I'm gonna kind of lull for a day or two and make sure that I don't um, mail it out too quickly. So. All right, perfect, Samantha. Yeah, just drop us a message. You can order the um, item on the website. And Samantha, you won the giveaway, so shipping's on me. So feel free to use that add-on shipping code as well um, when you place the necklace order, and that way you won't get charged for the shipping. So I'm covering the shipping for your giveaway. All right, so we're waiting to hear back from Holly. She's debating. She's working out the details. She will have some hostess benefits. So when you host a party with us, whether we are um, locally and hosting it in your home in and around Morgantown, West Virginia, or if you do a customized party in a box with us, or if you do a Facebook party with us, um, the hostess benefits are uh, one free oyster for every 10 that are sold at your party, and then we total up the jewelry sales and you receive 10% of the jewelry sales and store credit to be spent on whatever you want in our store. So you can put it towards more oysters or you can put it towards jewelry. So. All right. Hi, Donna. Oh, I see. <laughs> I see our, our team has, yeah. has greeted Christopher and Donna. So she was clarifying. Very good. Oh, Holly, I'm just teasing you, but you let me know once you've made a decision. If you want to wait and see what your hostess benefits are, um, we will be live again on Monday. So after we close out your um, hostess benefits, Holly, if you wanted to spend it on oysters and you wanted me to open them instead of them being mailed to you, um, we could do that when we're live on Monday. So, all right, hubby says to wait. That's fine. Um, and also for those of you to know, if you order oysters to open at home, this is how they come to you. So they are wrapped in a vacuum sealed container. They're good for a solid year. So you can even think ahead, you know, from time to time we'll run a sale and whatnot. So you can think ahead for birthday gifts or Christmas gifts. Um, they're good for a year if you store them just at regular room temperature. Um, so it's a really fun experience gift. 
If you couple it with the purchase of a necklace, we will actually wrap it together in a little um, combo gift set. And you can find the gift sets on the website. They save you a couple dollars overall if you couple an oyster with the necklace. Um, so another great experience gift idea. So Holly says, I want to see more pretty pearls. I know. Well, I have two left in the bowl tonight. And since we're not live until Monday, mm -hmm. I say we just open these and we make them showcase A and showcase B. Does that sound okay? Yeah. All right, tech support says, yeah, yeah. Okay, so the way this works, Showcase A and Showcase B have not been purchased. They're up for claim. Um, because you get to see what's inside first, the price is 25 instead of 20. Um, you just comment sold. Okay, Holly's like, yes, do that, do that right there. <laughs> so you just comment sold, and this is A. So if you what's inside is what you want for $25, you can comment sold A. Uh, and then we will invoice you for that amount, okay? So here we go. And if it's twins, it does not double the price, okay? It stays the same. So this one looks like a light pink, maybe peach. Not feeling a twin in there at all. We shall get it washed off. Yeah, it's definitely got some pink or peachness to it. We'll see what it looks like on the... Uh, Oh, sold in the number. And then I went ahead and assigned it a letter. Mm, I'm just getting, we're getting them all confused now. <laughs> Is it Friday yet? <laughs> oh, and then I just dropped it. There we go. All right, it did measures in as a 6.85. Oop, 84. And, oh, now see, isn't that funny? I said pink or peach. And I guess it, I would say pink, but it's a rich <clears throat> pink. Like a sad, almost borderline purple. Do you mm. see some of that purple in there? I see kind of gold in it up here. Right there. Okay, so tech support's saying gold. I'm saying pink, like but like a gold, saturated like pink. Pinky, purple, yeah. So rose gold, pinky, purple. Yeah, we're really helping that out, aren't we? <laughs> we're really clarifying to them what color Showcase A is. Mm -hmm. I know it's Friday, Holly. It's been a long week, though. <laughs> I can feel I'm getting, I'm getting sleepy. All right, so yeah, Samantha says it looks pink. It's definitely more on the pinker side, but it's a bit more dark pink. All right, so that's Showcase A, and this is Showcase B, our last oyster of the evening. And then we'll be live again on Monday night, so you guys can join us then. Monday night, uh, we also have a hostess, um, Mandy is hosting Monday night. You can place orders now. Uh, that option is open on the website and you do not need to know Mandy uh, personally to order in. So, all right, so let's see. This is a lighter, I think it's also gonna be kind of a pink, but not the same tone. Mm -hmm. Maybe more like a blushed champagne, maybe. All right, it measures in at a 6.94. And, yeah, so I'm going to call that a blushed champagne. It's a very pale, pale pink. So showcase A and showcase B, and then that wraps up our night. So thanks for joining us, everybody. We will be live again on Monday night starting at 8.30 p.m. Eastern. We are taking orders for that. Uh, currently, so you can shop on our website at mountainmamapearls.com. Hey, Laura, we are actually just winding up our evening. Oh, Melody's like, oh, neither of the colors I need. <laughs> so, very good. So, yeah, if you guys had an order in tonight, if you purchased um, just oysters and your order is complete, drop me a message and let me know if you're ready for that to be mailed out. If your original order included jewelry already, I am probably going to automatically go ahead and process that. So if you want time, if you're thinking about adding anything else, drop me a message and let me know to just pause. Um, I like to get orders out as quickly as possible. So um, if you don't want that to happen, let me know. And if it's just pearls and you want it to happen, I have purposely slowed myself down and not been mailing pearls out right away because a couple times I've caught people um, and mailed out too quickly. So... Um, Lindsay, we are doing giveaways. We actually did it a little bit earlier, giving our hostess a time to decide if she was going to make a purchase while we were on or not. So 
Uh, we did our giveaway and Samantha Zappel was the one who won and she got twins and she wanted pink and they were both pink. So super excited. So, oh, Laura, I'm sorry you missed most of our show tonight. We will be live again on Monday night starting at 8.30 p.m. Eastern. So, um, Erica, I did not check our P.O. box today, but I will be there checking it tomorrow. So I will let you know um, if I get it. I'll let you know that I've got it and that it's um, underway, okay? So, all right. Well, thanks for joining us, guys. Um, if you have any questions at all, feel free to drop us a message. We're going to be on checking messages and closing up some orders for a little while tonight. So, We'll be there to chat if you have any questions. So thanks for joining us, guys, and we will uh, see you again on Monday. Have a fantastic weekend. All righty, signing off. Adios.